Why don't you give me a sign? Like the sea that leaves a trail along that shore It's not your problem, it's mine Everybody thinks that I'm okay Sometimes I think I am too I'm on the outside looking in I'm waiting for the shockwaves to begin Oh, won't you let me hold you for one time Just a rainy day In a London cafe A London cafe Why do you want to hunt? Because you all think that I can't. I saw a sign in the sky. I'm ready. My only Nita. Hello, I'm Sophia Jessica and welcome to the fan carpet. I grew up loving the Predator. I was I was in third grade and not allowed to see it and desperately wanted to. And, I, and when I eventually did, I think the thing that I was so captivated by was it was the first time I had seen a genre mashup. I would later go on to fall in love with John Carpenter and I'll eventually see Aliens and all sorts of other movies that, that tick the same box. But Predator Me represents exactly that, being an action movie combined with a science fiction film combined with a horror movie. The thing that I was so excited about was to still retain that essence, but I think our film is a little bit more of an adventure film, a historical epic um, that then combines with suspense and horror and sci-fi um, and all those things. And frankly, I'm super stoked for people to finally see our version of The Predator. One of the things that made the original so exciting was that it was so surprising. We saw it cloaked and we thought, that's the Predator. And then we saw it decloaked and with that biomass, we thought, oh no, that's the Predator. And then Yet, still, when it removes that, that was the Predator. And none of the other movies have really been able to function that way. And our movie, with our redesign, allows us to be that exciting, even for diehard fans of the franchise. I mean, it was very tricky because this is set 300 years prior to what we've seen. We had to make sure that everything it's wearing and wielding um, feel older and feel like a prior iteration of what we've seen before but we also wanted to make sure it felt as advanced as it possibly could so it could feel like that much more of a formidable opponent for our Earthlings. Um, I think its biomask is indicative of a, of a design that is very Predator. The Predators are trophy hunters and our Predator has infused its tech with a trophy and is wearing it on its face. And because we want it to be a much more alien and creature-like um, being, uh, we stripped it of its armor but to protect himself, it now has a shield. Um, and the way that shield unfurls is very advanced, even though it's seemingly a more archaic weapon. So, our tool, yeah. Casting Amber uh, was obvious as soon as we, we, we had her audition. She, she, the scene that she auditioned with was the scene between her and her mother. She did it three times. She did it once as written, once in Comanche, and then once silently. She performed a dialogue scene non-verbally and that was incredibly moving and then when we did some physical stuff she was never just crawling or running or leaping over a stack of mats she was always finding um, the emotional beats of the scene so that's exactly what this movie needed and she went through a whole lot of training to to rise to the occasion just like Nadu does um, and become a total badass absolutely um, it was really heavily relying on the suit but not feeling beholden to it and in moments where we wanted the predator to move or do things that a suit would not allow we then had uh, a team of awesome vfx artists take over even little things like getting the inside of the mouth right um, and seeing the calf muscles flex um, those are when we don't have those i think you start to feel the artifice so allowing cg to take over really helped 
um, make our thing feel um, like it hasn't before and be an awesome alien creature. I really hope people find it to be a very intense, thrilling, but also moving and emotional experience. Um, and that's not something you can always say for a genre film. It's definitely what I'm aiming for, and I, and I hope um, I hope that's what people feel. Thank you for watching the fan carpet. Please follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for more content next time. I'm here on the largest of the Balearic Islands, Mallorca, with the turquoise waters of the Mediterranean Sea, beautiful mountainous landscape, the thriving city of Palma, quaint little market towns, a growing number of luxury hotels. It's no surprise that the likes of Audrey Hepburn and Elizabeth Taylor like to holiday here. So come and join me as I take you round Mallorca. Thank you for watching the fan carpet. If you like this video, be sure to click that thumbs up button at the bottom of your screen. And also be sure to subscribe to the fan carpet YouTube channels. They're absolutely free. That's so much fun too. Be sure to check out the official website, thefancarpet.com. Also, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to stay up to date with reviews, competitions, the latest news, and so much more.